Hi and welcome back to our channel. So today let's discuss about how to import customer invoices in Odoo 40. So we can create invoices for customers directly uh, by coming into accounting module. We can uh, find menu under customers to create invoices. And from here also you can, cre can create new invoice. And when you uh, create a sale order, after confirming the order, or before confirmation, we can create invoice. So it is also possible to import a customer invoice record. So here, when you open invoices, you can see all the created invoices. And manually from here, we can create invoice. And it is also possible to import records. So in order to import records, when you uh, have to come under favorites and click this import records, and load the CSV or Excel file. If you require a template or structure to build the file, we can download that from here. We can see the option uh, for exporting. So when you click this, you can export all records, all invoices from here. And if you want to edit, you can edit inside it and then import it. And it is also possible to export a file uh, by selecting some records. And then here under action, you can see that option to export records. So you can tem export the template, download the template, and you can see some, uh, some of the fields added here. So you can remove some fields, uh, remove the fields from here. And it is also possible to add some fields from uh, this list to this list. So those fields can be included in our file that can be downloaded. So here you can see um, some informations like number, due date, activities, uh, status, payment status and all. And here, if you want to uh, export invoice line, you can see here uh, the field invoice line. So when you unfold this, you can see all the fields in the invoice line. You can see the analytical account, amount, uh, then balance, then you can see the currency, then due date. You can see journal. Then partner, product, product order, purchase order. So you can see all the fields under that invoice line. So just click on what all fields you require to export. Just click on the plus and it will be added to this list. And after adding the required fields, you can export the data. Uh, so you can export data as XLS or CSV file. So it is recommended to export uh, that is use XLS. So while importing, field formatting will be done automatically when you're using this. And when you're using CSV, we can manually uh, convert that is field format. That is we can do field formatting manually. So when you export, you can open the file and see the details uh, or we can save it. So when you open, we can see all the records, you can see the columns and values. So I have already created an Excel file. So let me open it and show that. So you can see uh, the invoice number, then partner, due date, activities, company. If there are no activities, you can see it is value zero. Uh, then untaxed amount signed, mm, then total signed status. Then you can see the payment status, then invoice lines. Then you can see the product, unit price and all. Okay. Now let's come under favorites and import the record. So when you load file, you can see our count of notes less file. So when you open that, here you can see it is mapped. Mapping is done. Column is mapped with the fields in Odoo. So we have created, that is, as we have exported the template, uh, that column name will be same as the 
field name. So no need of manual mapping from here. And you can see some of the fields are not mapped. So if you want to map, just click on the drop down and just search for the field here. Uh, and we can add that field here. So you can see two errors. This is because uh, there is no matching fee uh, record found for name zero in the field invoice lines bar taxes. This is because uh, in our row, uh, we can see a tax, uh, it is set as zero. This is not an existing value. So one thing you can do is that you can edit the file again and then again import the file. Or if you don't want the field, you can just close it from here. And then if you again import the file, uh, test the file, you can see everything seems valid. And if there are any do there is any duplication, then uh, warning will be shown here. Okay, so after testing the file, we can import the file. So if there is any problem with this file and you want to, you need to load a new file, you can just click on this load new file. Okay, so everything is done. Now let's import and field formatting is also done automatically as the file is XLS. Okay, so just click import. So when you click import, you can see one record successfully imported. And here you can see that can see the product quantity, price, you can see the journal item. So using Excel file, in this way we can import data. And the same way we can import data in the form of CSV file. So the only difference is that uh, field formatting can be done manually. That is, suppose I am exporting it. And I'm downloading CSV file. Okay, again, I'm loading a file. So here you can find an option that is for formatting. So when you click on this, you can add a uh, change the formatting and then test it and import the record. So that's the difference uh, when you're importing using CSV file. So that's all about uh, importing customer invoices in Odo 40. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odo at cyprocess.com.